a time, there was a famous man called Mimir. He had a best friend named Kratos. They had the longest hair that ever existed. Even though they had a normal life, their life was hard. Whenever Mimir did the dishes, his beard would dangle into the sink. His beard would gather the food as the dishes were washed. When Kratos swam, he almost drowned every time because his hair covered his face and he did not know where to swim. Mimir wanted it to end, so did Kratos, but they had nothing sharp enough to cut their hair and beard off, so they did research. We must go on a journey to find the golden scissors! They started at the low forest. Oh, we forgot food and I'm hungry. Luckily, they were in the low forest so they could grab all the bread they wanted to. After they had a snack, they were on their way, but Kratos heard a noise. Mimir, did you hear that too? No! What was it? A little bread baby was all alone. The little bread baby was the one making the noise and scuttling around. Mimir and Kratos were starting to get scared of the mysterious sound, so they tried to get out of the forest as fast as they could. But little did they know, the little loaf had jumped on Mimir's backpack. They weren't quite far without knowing the little loaf was there, hanging on by the straps. A little later, they put out two tents up set up for the night. They didn't know the little loaf was there. Later, when Mimir took off his backpack to go to bed, he saw the little loaf. <coughs> What's your name? My name is Jono. Nice to meet you, Jono. Would you like to come with us on our journey? They then continued their journey. Soon after they got to another place that was called Anvil Town. It was built in the shadow of a steep mountain. They decided to stay there for a day or two and explore. I like this Anvil town. Let's stay here and explore for a few days. Mid-exploration, Mimi got smacked in the head by an anvil that fell off the mountain. He was out cold. Kratos was so devastated. He put Mimi in a big backpack. Kratos was taller than Mimi and he could stand in the backpack. Off they went on their journey, far away. They went through a desert, they went past a waterfall, they even almost saw Mount Everest. they went to a swamp. Kratos found some logs lying on the ground. He tied them together to make a raft. Mimir loved swamps, but he was still knocked out. It wasn't just any normal swamp, though. It was Shrek Swamp. Can't be swamp. Fiona! Help! It's a north. You know all ogres have terrified their baked goods. Shrek slowly started coming towards Kratos, but when he saw Jono, he turned and ran away. Kratos paddled as fast as he could. After they got out of Shrek's swamp, they saw far into the distance. The Golden Scissors. Mimi woke up an hour before they were at the scissors, but they finally made it. They jumped off the raft so fast because they couldn't wait to get to the Golden Scissors. They ran, but it still took them 10 minutes. In five minutes of cutting, all the hair was gone. They took the long journey home to avoid Shrek. Several days later, they made it back home. Even though their hair grew back, they brought the scissors with them. They finally lived a life with no struggle. Mimi, 
me. Kratos. Red slash Jono. Shrek. Mm-hmm. <laughs>